Hello there, welcome back to some more Tears of the Kingdom. I just took a picture of this thing again because I died after I did it last time. The Avacuda. Right. Uh, last time we took a picture in the dark, as you do. <laughs> I know it's making it sound enthralling, but uh, yeah, I did that. And I've got to go back to Lookout Landing to tell them that I got the picture of the statue for them. And then we'll probably explore the surface some more. Because I'm sure there are shrines and other things that I haven't gotten. So I'll go clockwise so that I end up in the northeast or northwest, which is where I want to head for story reasons after. 3.25 in the morning. I've been out all day. Is it five? Is it a second a minute? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So it's a 24 minute day. Hello. Hey you, search us for the picture you took of the statue. That fi figure matches up pretty well. It looks darn cool too. Hey. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping me with the stage of my investigation. My earlier surveys, the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? It's only times five. Hmm. It feels as if this some, contains some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, that might help you in your search for Princess Aldous. Hopefully you find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments I could piece together. Goggles. Swordsman. <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. That's alright. So I'm missing one power, which is probably the power of scan. Alright, so if I'm going out a certain way, I want to head over here. I'm going to head to the, this corner first. Then, so what I tend to do is I look at things that I think might be interesting. And then, if I'm right, then great. If I'm not, it doesn't matter. So I want to go to the top of this. That's blue. And then I'm going to head down to the bottom right corner over here, to this pond. It seems like it could be interesting. Yellow. Okay, then I'm going to head over to this mountain, Mount Daphnes. I've been there before, but that's fine. Uh, then I'm going to go over to... It's up here. Then I want to head up to the woods the top left, which is where I'm going to end up anyway. I'm going to go here. Okay. So, that's that. And hopefully as I go through all these pins, I'll be looking at what I'm doing. So red first, and I'm going to go in a clockwise fashion. Any shrines to see while I'm there, I'll do, of course. But otherwise, just wandering around. Doing explorations. Trying not to die. Have I got any weapons that aren't special weapons? No, that's fine. I probably want to keep my Boko Reaper out for now because it's a pretty good basic enemy killing weapon. Also, I should probably get my camera out all the time. Warm Dana. Got it. A warm Dana. Uh, this dragon fire is a special organ that causes it to sweat profusely. Cook it with monster parts for an elixir that will raise your core temperature so you can resist the cold. Obviously, not everything will be inspectable. But some things will be. So I think this is like, that's just like a uh, Bokoblin's horn. The Choo Choo Squad. It's 
those things have about 10 health, it looks like. I just use my weapons till I can't anymore. Ah, is he trying to hold the sign up again? He needs some help. Yeah, I think so. A rupee. A single rupee. It's soft green glow puts a smile on your face. Not that kind of smile, obviously. I wonder if I can get away with just one plank of wood in the right orientation. Oh no, I need two because I need to stick it to it, don't I? Oh, uh -huh. thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too, but I can't stand here for her. I got some sort of signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Should I let him go? Mm -hmm. What? Are you just going to support him or I let go? Uh -huh. How's the President standing? Uh -huh. That was brilliant. I never would have thought of it. Alright, let's get him secure while he's still standing. Put this right here, get that fastened, and... It's going to become really hard to keep these things standing, isn't it? Ah. Perfect! We're going to help President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Ooh. A red rupee. It's red luster tickles your heartstrings. <laughs> well, so you must be hungry after all that hard work. Here, let me give you something I made myself. Energizing veggie rice balls. Instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. The time style dish of Kakariki Village is stuffed the bounty of the mountains. <laughs> Ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. It's a little something for my premium collection, a special gift for me to you. A push room. Thank you. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs, and with that, I'm off. No problem. So I guess he could be anywhere, right? Some ruins. A farming hoe. And right next to it, a shroomman. A hillion shroom. I will never be stopped. I will take pictures all day long. Farming hoe. Farming tool primarily used by tilling or for tilling fields. is fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand back by field work. But its battle applications are untested. Well. Don't need all these rock hammers. Can I hold the four at the thing? Ah, oh, right, okay, so I drop it on the ground to then fuse it with my weapon. So what is this now? A Boko blade. Let's change the hoe head to a different kind of head. Is it now two-handed? It is, okay. Nice. So the Reaper is like a one-handed dagger. Horses. I need one. Desperately. That's a shit picture. That's better. I want this, like... Milk horse. Oh, 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 oh. 
So until they like me, they might try and get me to fuck off. You gonna wait for me or are you just gonna chill? Let's go in the shrine. He might bounce. It's okay if he bounces. Combat training, throwing. Okay. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered to heed my instruction. Aim true and throw the material. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Okay. Well done. Watch the enemy's movement carefully, then throw the material at them. So you have to hold throw, then just press the button and then it throws. I don't know if it actually did that much damage or whether it just killed them. You've proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Can I have that, please? Firstly, because I want to take a picture of it. If I can, I can't. It's fine. Secondly, I want to take a picture of your bow. Ah, there's a ladder. Constructs bow. <laughs> Zanite sword is no good to me. Can fuse it with stuff, but. Open this box. One flower times three. Okay. And give me this. I wish to become stronger. <laughs> Unless there's some reason I need to do it, I'm really not going to be throwing much stuff at enemies. When a bow and a sword will get the job done just fine. Ah, oh, you stayed. What a lad. There's a Gerudo there. She's chilling. I'm not going to disturb her. She's fine. It's 
Stay still. <laughs> Careful now. Blooper Coblin. Go, go, go. Out of here. Good jump, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Controlling the horse, I guess uh, they're not. It's not completely friendly with me yet. So he's not doing exactly what I say. I understand that. Link, I heard that you and Princess Zelda have gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well, but where's Princess Zelda? What? So Princess Zelda's still missing. Well then, Link, you may want to meet with Lady Impa. She's investigating the geoglyphs that have appeared across the land. A curious name for this strange phenomenon. Lady Impa believes that they're crucial to the search of Princess Zelda. She's starting one of those new balloon contraptions. There should be a new serene stable right now. I'm in a hurry to meet with Lady Impa, but I can't go in nearly as fast as she can in her balloon. Let's see. New serene stable is just a little to the northwest of Central Hyrule. If you'll excuse me, I need to be on my way. Okay. Anything metal we have on needs to not be on. As long as we don't have a metal armor on or anything, we're fine. Yep. Right. Because the lightning will fuck us up if we uh, are not careful. It's alright, mate. Don't worry. Shrine. Let's go. Backtrack. So I'm going to need to have the recall ability on. to look for boxes and chests and stuff. Don't mind me. Just taking a picture of the torch while I'm here. down to the ground straight away.
strong construct bow. A sturdy bow for a captain construct. Besides being fireproof, it's been strengthened to allow for more slots. Okay, so it just goes back in the box if I don't. An old wooden bow. Nice. This way, having like more buttons for like on a keyboard to hot swap moves and stuff would be handy. Or hotkeys, yes. Or combination shortcuts or something. Like my guess is I need to light these up. Well, there's a hard way and a short way of doing this. short way would have been to use the torch and go back over there, light them, come back again, but the, the fast way was just to use fire arrows. I need to make the ball roll in the hole. So what does this one do? If that opens that, This one probably makes a lift appear, so or stairs appear, so I can go in the stairs. Oh, I see. Okay. That's going to do that, so then I can recall the lad. Which undoes that one. probably stop it at that point, but I could have kept going if there was something else I needed to undo again. It doesn't have to be a chest, but usually there is. I might have just missed it. It's fine. Usually there's more than one, I mean. I found the one in the fire, obviously. doodle doo doodle -doo, doo doo Yay! Right, so I can upgrade something. Wonderful. I think for now it'll just be health until about 10 hearts maybe, and then after I get about 10 hearts then I can start thinking about some stamina. More survivability will be good, especially if I'm going in the gloomy zones where I don't want to get hit too many times. But it's just the amount of times you get hit, not the amount of health you have. Whereas in the surface, it's definitely about how much health you have and how much defense you've got. Right, don't leave the horse behind you, fucking cretin. There you are. My love. My horse. You are the best horse a man could have ever asked for. And not take no for an answer. The other horse is pale in comparison to your magnificence. I'm going all the way over here, not because there's anything here, but just because it's around. Alright, kill rock. Ah, uh, my friend and I got separated. He's over there. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired that I can't move. Oh. Come here, we're going on a little journey, bish. Bet I could do some... Yeah, it's testing my knowledge of engineering. I bet I could do some of this stuff. I bet I could. 
I can't push you all the way across, obviously. It's a bit too far. But I can swim across dead easy. That's unfortunate. Alright, fine. Unfortunately, I can't quite reach all the way across. I bet I can get him if I get to the, the head of the beach before I get there. Come on. I'll just bring him across the bridge, I guess. Fine. Fucking. I think if I had made some sort of system... Basically, I just need to devise a system to get it to stop uh, floating away. Some kind of... I tried to, like, anchor it into the floor, and that didn't work. So, what might have been better would have been to uh, make some sort of very heavy weight. Like an anchor, literally like an anchor. Just to hold it down. So, like, if I've got the bridge, right, I just have, like, a very, very long, heavy, massive block of wood or stone or something just to keep it down. More powerful than the current of the river so that it can't push it away. But in real life, what I would do, what I'd try, is get a hole in the bottom, like, something underneath, like, dig some sort of hole at the bed of the river to jam a post or something big and solid like a stone pillow or something in so that it can't and then put build off of that so it can't float away that's what i'd try and do there you are thanks for bringing my friend here's something for you co-op seed times two thank you bye Bye. My bridge washed away. Fucking has, hasn't it? You fucker, you. I think I just reset it. I used all my energy up. Swimming like a bish. That's because I was swimming against the current, not with it. If you go with the current and don't try and swim against it, you'll end up on the other side of the beach without much trouble. Okay, cool. Right. Hello, horse. Thank you for being patient with me, my stupidity. Good lad. Right. Let's go. We're heading to orange next time. Let's see what we can see. If there's anything that piques my immediate interest, I'll go to it, but otherwise. Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. It was my fuck up. I didn't mean to collide you straight into the ground. I, I promise. So I'm going to go see Impa at a stables. I want to go to a stables anyway to get my horse sorted out, saddle them up, all that stuff. There's also some other stuff I need to do, like take some pictures of fire fruits and peppers and animals and flamingo and foxes and all that stuff. But yeah, four hearts ain't going to cut it when I get one shot by everything that exists. And that's a, a cross between my armour not being good enough. Oh, dear Lord in heaven. Sorry. 
I thought I could collect them. Turns out all you can do is collide into them. That ain't the one. Alright, well. This big rock seems interesting. So I'm going to stop here and I'll see you guys next time after I eat a meal. A succulent Chinese meal. Um, I'll go and explore this and then we'll go towards the blue pit. And keep going around the island until we've done all of it. And then I'll move over to this place next. But yeah, see you guys then. Goodbye.